Well, it is given in the problem that there are two bulbs which are having certain specifications. What are the specifications is bulb one is designed for 100 uh, watts and 250 volts bulb 2 is designed for 200 watts and uh, 250 volts they are all connected in series to a voltage source of 500 volts so let us try to draw the diagram and see what does it mean by this is bulb 1 this is bulb 2 they are connected to a voltage source the voltage source is 500 volts current starts passing from here because they are in series the same current will go but the voltage is distributed here how does the voltage is distributed here basing on their resistance r1 and r2 you know voltage is being shared here v is uh, being shared here because more the resistance less the voltage drop and vice versa so I have to calculate what is the resistance of that so that I will be able to know out of this 500 volts how much voltage will drop here and how much voltage will drop here and when the bulb will fuse out if voltage supplied across any of this bulb is more than the designated voltage of 250 volts that bulb will fuse out be careful this is the voltage for which it is designed 250 volts is the designated voltage that's not the voltage that goes in electric circuit in this circuit how much voltage goes through that bulb is not 250 we have to calculate that how can we calculate that first of all i have to calculate the resistance of that how can i calculate the resistance basing on the formula of the power power designated is voltage designated by resistance so for the bulb one Power is given as 100 watts. Voltage is given as 250 volts. V square 250 and 250 by resistance R. So, what's the resistance R1 is? 250 into 250 by 100. Getting this 100 into the denominator. This zero gets cancelled. 25 and 25 is 625 ohms. So the first bulb has a resistance. Now it is known for me R1. I need to calculate the same for the second bulb. So let me calculate for the bulb 2 using the same formula. Power 2 is 200 watts given in the problem. It is different bulb. V square is, it is designated for 250 volts. By what is its respect to resistance is? I have to calculate that. Let me calculate the resistance R2 here 250 and 250 by 200. Again, this zero gets cancels. This is 625 by 2 ohms. Well, I got the second resistance 625 by 2. Now I know the value of R1, I know the value of R2. Once if I know the resistances, it's very clear both of them are connected in series. This resistance R1, R2 are in series. I know the formula for the R series as R1 plus R2. R1 is 625. R2 is 625 by 2. That is 625 plus 312.5. And the addition of that gives you the value of 937.5 ohms now i know what is the total resistance is i know the total voltage supplied then i can calculate the total current that is passing in the circuit using the ohms law what is that as per ohms law we can write v equal to ir voltage that we have supplied in the circuit because i am calculating the current in the circuit I shall take the voltage that is supplied, not the voltage of the designated bulbs. I have to calculate R value is the series effective resistance that we have calculated as 937.5. Then the I of that 
circuit is 500 by 937.5 and if you calculate it comes up approximately as 0 0.533 amperes now i know this i value but i want to know how much voltage is dropped across first bulb v so we can use a formula again ohms law v equal to ir so voltage dropped across the first one is the total current 0 0.533 into resistance of that first bulb we have already calculated the resistance of the first bulb as 625 so when you multiply these things you will get a value like 333.3 volts so clearly we are going to get a voltage of 333.5 volts but that is designed only for 250 volts so this is an extra voltage than what is this bulb can bear so it is obvious that that i need not solve further that bulb one will fuse out first anyway just for the confirmation sake i can calculate the voltage drop across the second bulb also yeah let's do that here voltage drop at second bulb we drop to is equal to i that's the same because they are in series resistance 2 of the second bulb i have calculated that i is 0 0.533 resistance is 625 by 2 so it's obviously half of this because by 2 is only extra so the value is 166.5 five six volts approximately so that's a quite reasonable voltage because the second bulb is designed for 250 volts but the voltage supplied is only 166.56 volts the second bulb can withstand the current the voltage drop that is happening through that uh, through it but the first bulb it's too much for it it can't bear it so it will fuse out first so who will fuse out first the question asked is the first bulb will fuse out you may continue uh, further by uh, asking something like uh, which if they are in parallel if the bulbs are in parallel for example if the bulbs are connected in parallel what will happen i want you to check it which will fuse out please check and you can comment here also right here in the video that's the work for you. I'm just leaving it for you. I want you to guess out and find out what happens when these two bulbs are connected in parallel. That's it. Thank you for watching.